Hi, I'm Kara Chamberlain, the Assistant Vice President of Longcomb Learning, and it's time for Beauty Confidential. My favorite cleanser is Creme Radiance because it's so soft and cushiony on my skin and it makes it feel like silk. I'm gonna put it on my hands and I use about a pearl size amount. That's really all I need because it's gonna foam up and I need to activate it with water. So I'm gonna grab some water and my hands are wet. I'm gonna foam it up and I just pat it on my face and then blend it away. It's nice and foamy. That's when you know it's really working. Then once you really blend it in, it's time to rinse with lukewarm water. So typically I'd pat dry, but I'm gonna leave my skin a little damp right now because the next thing I wanna do is exfoliate. Step two is rose sugar scrub. It's a warming, gentle exfoliating scrub with sugar grain and makes my skin feel so soft and silky. I'm a normal combination. I get an oily T-zone, a little drier in the cheeks, so I exfoliate every other day. So I'm gonna splash some water on my face and then we'll get to exfoliating. I typically will tap it into my skin everywhere that I need it. Usually I make five dots. So my forehead, my cheeks, my chin, my nose, and then start to scrub. Use my fingertips to really scrub. And what it's actually doing is it's helping to get into those pores. I love to get always in here. It's a really good spot to exfoliate around my nose. And then once I feel really gotten every place on my face, I'm just gonna rinse with some warm water. All right, so I just finished my rose sugar scrub and my skin feels so smooth and soft. Got this little glow to it. So my next step is step three and that's my toner. I use Tonique Radiance. It's part of the Radiance family. I use a cotton pad, so I'll just pop it on a cotton pad. And I actually like to quarter my cotton pad to make sure that I get toner on the whole thing. And then I just put it across my face and I'll go on my cheeks and then down both sides of my nose. I always go above my mouth, below my mouth, under my chin, and I always make sure I get my neck too, just to make sure I don't miss anything. What toner really does for me is it may get anything extra I may have missed in cleansing, because you know what, we are not perfect. Step four is my most important step, and that is my Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. It's pre-measured, which is why I love it, because I'll never use too much, I'll never use too little, and if you notice, this button just pops up, and I press it on my hands, just like that and you'll see it's really water light. I touch my cheeks with it, I touch my forehead with it, my nose and my chin. I can just go ahead and blend, and then I always bring it down my neck. It's really important. And what Advanced Genifique does is it instantly makes your skin glowing and luminous. And you notice it's gone. Your skin drinks in this amazing serum. I love it so much. So after Advanced Genifique, I always make sure I moisturize and protect my skin all in one step. And I do that with step number one, two, three, four, five, Renergy Lift Multi-Action Ultra Lotion. I usually do about two pumps. And again, I tap it into my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, my chin, and I blend. And what I love about Renergy is it makes my skin look so good for its age. I'm 49, I'm in the last year of my 40s, I can't believe it. I've used Lancome for over 20 years and it shows. Plus the SPF 30 broad spectrum UVA and UV, UVB protection is gonna help to minimize the appearance of any other signs of aging by protecting my skin from the sun. Step six is Advanced Genifique Eye Light Pearl. And it is an eye serum that I cannot live without. I wake up super puffy in the morning, super dehydrated around my eyes, and because it's not only an amazing formula, but it has this really cool applicator, it helps me de-puff in an instant. And I start on the inside corner and I just swirl it along the ocular bone. You can actually feel that bone and make these little circles all the way out. And I'll do the same up top, and it really helps to de-puff the appearance of those puffiness that you have and even eye bags, and it's that simple. And I just tap in any excess just to make sure it goes where it needs to go, and then I do the other eye. Okay, step seven. I've treated everything on my face, I've treated my eyes, but I need to treat my lips. I use our Renergy Multi-Action Lift, and I just put a little on my fingers, I sit down my mouth, all the way around, and actually, I even go outside my lip line because this is part of the Renergy family. So it helps to diminish the appearance of any fine lines around the mouth area, helps to make my lips look like they're plumper and hydrated. And I can wear this alone or put my favorite lipstick right on top. Time for the most refreshing step in my routine and that's step eight, our rose milk mist. Um, and I just spray it across my face. I usually do about three pumps and I do down the middle of my face and then on both sides just like this. So I'll go in the middle, let me try to close my eyes. 
down one side and down the other side. And it just envelops my skin in this mist of a cloud. Just gives me this extra refresh and makes my skin look glowy and it feels super hydrated and ready like it can take care of anything it encounters throughout the day. And now I feel like my skin is glowing and smooth and ready to go, but there are certain days that I want to use makeup. So I start with Tante Doll Ultra Wear, our full coverage foundation. I put it along the back of my hand. I like to use my hand as a palette because it helps it warm up on the back of my skin. I like just a little bit of foundation and I just tap it and it gives a lot of coverage with a really little bit of foundation. I think that's what I love about it because I still feel like I'm wearing skin and not wearing makeup. And I use a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And I, again, love to work on the back of my hand. So you see there's my foundation and here is my Maki Complete Concealer, also in shade 310. And I just tap in a little bit. And I just do where I tend to be a little puffier. I tap it in with my brush, melt it in with my fingers. A little gentle tap. And then just to finish my complexion, I tap on a little of our dual finish powder. I only put my powder where I tend to be a little shiny. I remove any of that excess shine throughout the day. And my last and final step, I will not walk out of my home without long comb mascara on. So I can go like this and just lift and lift and lift. Now I just let the wand do all the work for me so that they look long and separated. But most importantly, my lashes grow really straight. I love that extra lift that Grandios gives me. And that's my morning routine. Last step is I gotta take the pin out of my hair and shake it out a little bit, and we're good to go. So I hope you learned a lot, and thanks for watching. See you soon.